Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at this MFI certified wireless lavalier microphone. It's made by this company. Let's open this up. The quality control card. Show some pages from the manual here, just the English section. If you want to read any part more detail, feel free to pause the video. And here's the specs for it. So it's got a built-in battery already. specs and goes over it again in German. It's in a semi-hard shell carrying case, single zipper. There's the USB type C cable. Not sure what this says, but we have a windshield. This is the receiver piece. Here's the lav mic. Power plus and minus. Here's my iPhone 12 Pro Max with the case. And with the case, I'm still able to plug this in. And once I plugged it in, the LED light here started blinking. And press the power button for about, say, two seconds. And now we have a solid LED light there, a solid LED light here on the receiver and transmitter. We'll open up the microphone app. Testing on the microphone. playing it. So it can't, when it plays, because it's connected right now, it's not playing through my phone speaker. I'm gonna disconnect this, hit play again. Testing on the microphone. Wow, pretty good. It's such a small package too. I think this is great for blogging, like noisy areas. Or the way I'm going to use it is every winter at my kids' school, there's always performances. They're playing instruments or singing. And usually I'm sitting pretty far back. I can just clip this onto my kid. And when they're up there performing, I can zoom in on my camera and still be able to record them. The benefit about having a headphone port is that we can always review what was re recorded. The downside to placing it on the transmitter end is that I'm reviewing it on this side here. I think the headphone port would have been better served if, if it was over here. On the transmitting end, I kind of wish that they had a like a mic input. That way, I don't need to clip this on the shirt. Yes, it's very small. It's black. It may not stand out in all situations, but sometimes it will stand out. So it would have been nicer if we use like a, a lapel mic and this can just clip on to the kid's pants, for example. My phone was aiming over there. My phone was aiming over there and it went over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my God. Nice foe! I don't know what you want! Battery life is at least four hours. Charging is very simple. It uses a standard USB type C cable in the back. And that USB type C cable that came in the package, I was not able to wedge it in here. But it's not that big of a deal because I need my USB Type-C for like my Samsung phones. 
or other devices. When there's direct line of sight between the receiver and the transmitter, I'll say the range can easily go up to 65 feet. But once it exceeds 65 feet, if like the coach walks in between us, then as we saw in the video, the audio quality wasn't that great. Now, same thing for indoors. When he's wearing this, if he's in a different room, then of course the audio quality is not as clear as if he was in direct in the same room as myself. I like it a lot. The only con is that the headphone port on uh, the microphone, I didn't really use this much. I didn't have a, f a purpose. If this was like a microphone input, that would have been much better because then I can put like a lapel mic. And then for head the headphone port on the receiver side, this would have been great because then I can monitor the speech, monitor what I was recording. But overall, this is an inexpensive item. I'll place the link to it in the description below. I like this and I would recommend it. Now this item was sent to me for review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Awkward Hamster. Bye.